Good afternoon, this is Grant Cameron, and this is a update, uh, the government dis disclosure update, day 52. This is uh, sort of uh, breaking news. This is just a very short update to set up uh, an opportunity for people to send questions for an interview that will be done Thursday afternoon. Um, what has happened is we have a um, number of contacts on both sides of the story, the, the, um, to, to the star's side and the Ron Pandolfi side, and we have um, made contact with a very high-level person. An interview did take place. And we are going to do a second interview where we are going to make some of this stuff public. And uh, I'm giving people an opportunity now to send in questions. Since the New York Times story uh, broke on December 16th, a lot of people have become frustrated because really nothing is really being released. It's all sort of stalled. And they want answers to certain questions. And that's what I basically want people to uh, contact me about. If you had a chance to ask um, some high-level person on either side, what questions would you want to, to ask? And uh, we, pro uh, we probably have answered the question. The question, uh, the interview was done by Melinda Leslie. I met her last um, November in uh, Laughlin, Nevada. We had a, a meeting. I realized that she had been working on this um, uh, soft disclosure, small D disclosure program for the last 30 years with Randy Copain. We got together and we've been working sort of on some projects now. And Melinda was contacted um, by a um, key person. Uh, we did not contact them, they contacted us. And I think what it is, is they basically want the story correct. They want to uh, get the story, manage the story, whatever. And I'm quite open to uh, exposing uh, things that we may have gotten wrong, what they're saying. And we are going to film this interview um, with Melinda. I'm going to basically ask Melinda a bunch of questions based upon what she was told questions coming from people and we are going to post this interview. Uh, we are also going to do a uh, joint presentation at UFOCon 2018, which is either March 23rd, 24th, 25th, or, or 24th, 25th, 26th, and that's in San Francisco, and it'll be at the airport in the San Francisco airport, the uh, Holiday Inn, and we are going to um, detail our research over 30 years. Melinda's never talked about hers. And uh, I've talked about some of mine, and I'm going to do the latest updates on what has happened. And there's a lot will be happening between now and that date. I will bring people up to date on the latest stuff that's happening inside these uh, disclosure programs that are uh, running at high speed right now. Uh, if you are familiar with the Richard Doty interview that was done last week, you know that um, um, Richard Doty said a lot of intelligence people show up at these kind of meetings. So I would imagine there will be some people there to find out uh, what we're going to say. They are actually watching. We, we have actually been told uh, by both sides that they're watching the updates that I do and, um, and making these suggestions that uh, we correct this or we correct that. Uh, also speaking at the conference will be Steve Bassett. He's not working with us. He has his own uh, uh, program that he's working on. He is following the Tom DeLong story. He's doing a keynote address on it. Uh, Melinda and I will be uh, doing six uh, up to six hours of lectures and questions and answers on the Tom DeLong Ron Pandolfi story. Uh, Melinda Leslie will go through a lot of stuff that has that happened in the past, uh, people that she's interacted with. She's more in terms of actually dealing face to face with people. I sort of sit on the sidelines and listen. So she's going to do a background. She's going to re reveal a lot of stuff that she's never talked about before. And then I'm going to give the latest updates on what is happening inside these disclosure programs that are going on right now. And that's happening at the end of March in uh, San Francisco. Uh, the media often complains with Tom DeLong operation that they can't get a hold of the, uh, the uh, people to ask the serious questions, that uh, Tom DeLong's operation aren't talking to the UFO community. And uh, so this is just to say that one of the key people, well, a couple of the key people have made contacts with, but we have one very key person who made contact with us. And this is the interview that we're going to release uh, next Monday morning. Uh, what we basically um, were told, we were told what we had wrong or what I had wrong in my updates. Uh, we were basically told what's coming next. So what I'm doing is I'm giving people um, an opportunity because we have these, these sort of dual contacts in, in, both, in both camps. We want people to send me questions. 
by Thursday at noon. Uh, what do you want to know about the Tom DeLong operation? Do you want to know what's coming next? Do you want to know what's going on? Why are they doing it? Who's involved? All this kind of stuff. Whatever questions you want, we will close the questions off Thursday at noon. Thursday afternoon, I'm doing this interview with Melinda Leslie, and I'm going to give her, uh, we're going to set it up for the 10 questions that people want to know. And uh, Melinda will relate what she was told, because most of the questions that you're going to ask, uh, Melinda did ask. There's a couple that she may not have asked, but we actually have an opportunity possibly to go back and ask those questions. So uh, Thursday at noon, we're cutting the questions off. Um, then Thursday afternoon, we're doing this interview with um, talking about this high-level person who has interacted with us, what we were told. And then next Monday morning, uh, we are going to make that interview with Melinda Leslie public. The questions are to come to whitehouseufo at gmail.com. Thanks for listening.